Welcome to The Aviator Show. In this episode, we take a short flight over to Turweston for breakfast with a man and Billy discussing all things flying. And a man shows us that the girls really can do it better than the boys in gusty conditions. Can everyone hear me okay? No, we got your comments. Billy, can we hear you? Yep, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you, thank you. Alright. That'd be on my best behaviour, right? No. <laughs> Thanks. Just do a power check. Is it me or is it a bit quiet? Is that just mine? No, mine's okay. It's the... Okay, break the holding. Well, that's a bit rough. Yeah. Might be because it's cold. Might lean it off a bit, to be honest. How'd you do this? So put it back on both, and then yeah, yeah just lean it off a bit. Till it drops. Yeah, about there. Yeah. And then we'll just leave it running for a bit and let it burn off the carbon. Okay. Okay, we're good. It suffers sometimes because yeah. you know when you taxi for a long time, poor rich, it, it gets, gets carbon. Yeah. Is yeah. that enough? We'll put it rich and then try it again. Because 
I, do, I think the thing about flying is the more you do, the more oh, you yeah. learn. Every, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, yeah, but yeah. to me, every single trip is a learning yeah. lesson, isn't it? If I go flying, it's usually after work if I'm feeling fairly relaxed. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I book the day off and do it. Yeah, yeah. So you wouldn't want to like just slot it in. I do sometimes, but it's not my preference because I'm usually running around like in this chicken all day. So <laughs> it's, uh, I suppose it is different when you are in that business because effectively yeah. you are in the business. Well, aren't you, it so. becomes more of a, a a business than a That's a pleasure it. thing, you know. That's it. You know, it's funny because people say to me, have I thought about going into aviation? But like you say, when it becomes a business, yeah. it sort of overtakes the hobby, which I think does, is such yeah. a shame. And It'd it, be a pity to, to lose the hobby side, you know? Right. Yeah, that's why I like doing stuff like this, really, because I can relax and just... Uh... Oh, aircraft low. Uh, no conflict. You'll be able to see it on your side in a minute. So this is the M40. Ah, I got you, yeah. 152 or something. Okay. And you've got that big coffee factory, you can always smell it. That's and it. Yeah, yeah, as literally as you come yeah, into Banbury. Yeah. I sometimes get a whiff of it even up here. Yeah, yeah I do. Right, thanks, that's good. So what, what do you love most about flying, do you reckon? I think when I when I decided to do flying, for me it was about the experience. Yeah, and, uh, basically, the intention was to just get places and yeah. enjoy the scenery and so on. But actually, aircraft, uh, no conflict. Um, uh, actually, what I found, what's been the most amazing about it, is that it takes you out of your head. Yes. That makes sense to yeah, you, Simon. Yeah. For me, yeah. I think um, because you're so focused on the actual whole end-to-end -end experience, yeah. from the minute you get to an airfield until you actually land back home, yeah. it's a very all-consuming experience. And so for me, that that's what I love about it. Yeah. Because it just distracts from the day to day, but also gives you perspective. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know what it's like when you're yeah. running a business. Your, your life is, you live your life in your head with the business, yeah, and this do. just gives you that perspective. I think. Do you not find that? I, I do. Yeah. You know, there's, I ain't gonna lie to you. There's been days when I've been driving to work where I realised I've got there. You yeah. know, because you've got yeah. that much going on in your head, so you just turn up in a plane. You just don't do that. You've got so much going on, you cannot afford the time to be thinking about other things. And that, that's what I like about it as well. Did you find that as a, it's almost like an unexpected benefit from, yeah, yeah, from yeah. flying? Yeah. It is, it's, it's phenomenal, isn't it? Because I think it, for me, like Sundays are perfect because actually you take a Sunday yeah. and you are all about the flying, you're yeah. about the destination, you're about the experience, and yeah. it's just the best day you come back and then after that your whole head is ready for the next week yeah it's empty <laughs> isn't it it's, that's uh, it yeah, yeah exactly so western radio golf bar alpha hotel foxtrot inbound from coventry at banbury request join golf hotel foxtrot hello it's western radio runway 27 right hand circuit qfe 1005 uh, 27 right hand, QFE 1005, uh, Golf Rob Alpha Hotel Foxtrot. 1005. That's Silverstone, can you see Silverstone there? In the, uh, in the, the middle distance, yeah, the white building there. Uh, yeah. That was your first flight, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Was it? I'm uh, a massive Formula One fan. So. I, I took her over Silverstone in bombs on a horrific day. Uh, 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 yeah, I hit the ceiling a few times. Oh my god. We got a horrific wind shear on base leg and I watched the airspeed <laughs> drop and I was waiting for it. Oh and then all you heard was just squeal from the right side. <laughs> <laughs> Brakes are off and the carriage is fixed. Mixture's rich. Carpet's on, and it's right on, still comes on. Uh, hatches, harnesses, you're yep, secure, you're good. secure. Golf Hotel Foxtrot, we are uh, right base. Can I walk towards the bank to call final, please? OK, Golf Hotel Foxtrot. Crikey, it's a bit lively today. Shopping? Yeah. Helicopter Golf Romeo Lima, we're currently three miles. Nice 
good, like uh, interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We now arrive at Tier Western and we're going to grab some food in the cafe and a man talks to us about some of the experiences she's had as a woman in aviation. So why, why did I get yeah, into, into flying? Flying. So when I was a little kid, I used to rate a holiday by how many takeoffs and landings we did in an aircraft. So I, I loved it ever since I was a kid. But I didn't realise that you could fly when you've got short sight and you are a short, a short person. So that was my kind of, and then I kind of, I, I just put it out of my head. And it wasn't until I met someone who was uh, short sighted, but he, he flew. And I thought, oh, how can you do that? And then when I found out uh, that anybody could do it, as long as you're wearing corrective lenses and so on, and the next challenge was uh, to see if I can actually reach pedals and be able to manage controls. So that's why I've got my booster seat. As soon as I could fit, that was it. I, I was hooked. And literally after my first, my first trial flight was the first time I'd ever been in a GA aircraft. Yeah. And I just fell in love with it. Yeah. And that was it. It's not it's until weird. you see someone like you that makes you think, oh, I can do that as well. But yeah. when you don't, especially women. Yes, I do. I do think there is a. You're right. I think there's definitely um, a bit of a thing about women pilots yeah. because I remember when I was learning and I remember doing circuits one day and came back down again. This little girl said, "Did you just fly this?" Because I was on my own. Yeah. And I said, "Yes." And she said, "Can girls fly then?" And oh. and I guess that's the thing. I said, to be honest, I, I think girls do it better. Do you? <laughs> yeah, no, they do. Is that the they multitasking do. thing? I think so. Yeah, yeah, no, I think yeah, so. Yeah. so. I do, yeah. It's, I think, it's no, I'll tell you what I think it is. There's a lot of ego in flying, which I don't particularly like, right? And you don't ever get that from the women. Well, no, I don't think so women true. are as confident, though, are they? And you see a lot of guys that are super confident, and you think, oh, God, I'd never be able to do that. And then you realise it's not actually that. Yeah. And actually, I, I think that's the thing, because I don't mind asking, so how do you yeah, do that? Or yeah. I don't understand that. Can somebody say, I've got no, I'm, I'm, like I said before, I'm forever learning. Every flight is a yeah, lesson yeah, to yeah. me. So, and I've got no issues with that. I fly with other pilots, actually, so it's something we do. Um, and we have, there's three of us, and we do three-legged flights and so on. Yeah. And that's always so good, because you're learning from them, yeah, and they yeah, do yeah. it ever so slightly differently. And to me, it's like, yeah, if someone can correct me, or if I'm, you know, if, I'm do, if I can do something better, I'll happily... I think on long trips as well, it helps to split yeah. the workload a bit if you dress yes. up first. You know, so. And actually, we, what we tend to do is more challenging flights when we're together. So you go into challenging airspace, you go into... Yeah. Uh, as you say, sort of newer, maybe uh, off the beaten track airfields yeah, and yeah. airstrips and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So that gives you the confidence. Yeah. What's the social side of it? It's brilliant. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. Could, could you recommend a booster seat supply for Billy? <laughs> Amazon. Am <laughs> <laughs> I allowed really? to say that? <laughs> I'll send you the link. Yeah. 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 That's where I got these from. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Billy. I want to play. I mean, but everyone's so good. Yeah. yeah, so at the minute it's still as tiny, so it's not too bad. You'll, you'll be absolutely fine. You'll find it's quite, and different aircraft as well, you'll need different combinations of them. So if you've got both, it just makes it a lot easier to make some. Fun. I'm only laughing about the booster seat because I need one. <laughs> <laughs> you can try mine if you like. Yeah, I only have it behind my back. Yeah. It depends on which aeroplane it is. It does. Yeah, yeah. They, they are. That is true, actually. They are very different. I didn't think I could fly a 172. Yeah. Um, well, I can't see over. The, the dashboard. I think you'll find just having those booster seats. And when I was in Cyprus, I flew a 172 for five hours, I think it was, I ended up doing in total. Yeah. And uh, and they had similar booster seats yeah. to that. And it was absolutely fine. So it does make a massive difference. They're not built for people like me. Yeah, I think I that's the problem. Yeah. Or you. Yeah, <laughs> They're yeah. built for your average height. I hate to yeah. say it, bloke, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. That's, that's the thing, I think. It makes you wonder if they were, if normal commercial aircraft were built for people like us, whether more and more women would have. Mm. 
I, I think I think so. Because it's got to be comfortable, hasn't it? You've got to be able to reach yeah. everything. I've been in some PA28s that I can't reach the controls because of the way the... I think even seat belts and how far oh, they yeah, stretch, yeah. that yeah. makes a big difference. So, What were you doing in Cyprus? Oh, I... Um, I don't know if you want to show this bit. <laughs> the company has a villa out there, so, oh, uh, nice. so I spent a month out there last year. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, and, and because the air, airport is just 20 minutes drive away, I was able to go. They're brilliant, actually, Cyprus Airport, because they accommodate GA. Did you did you rent anything out there? Yeah, yeah, it was. You can't. The trouble is with the uh, non ERs licenses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're now having. You've got to go with an instructor. You can't yeah, go yeah. on your own. But that was fine. Yeah. You can take one of ours and fly in Europe, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you can't fly, fly a European, European registered, registered yeah, aircraft. That's it. Yeah. Very much. Um, yeah. So he. Uh, but it was really good actually because what he ended up doing. Uh, because there's not a lot of flying to do in Cyprus, because once yeah. you've done the sightseeing, that's it. It's only yeah. because airspace is so restricted there. Um, so he ended up putting me through my paces in terms yeah, of did, like advanced flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's me. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and ding the bell to watch more videos like this one.